We are given f of x equals the square root of the quantity x plus 15 minus x, and we are asked to solve f of x equals three. To solve f of x equals three, we substitute three for f of x and solve the resulting equation. If we substitute three for f of x, we get the equation three equals the square root of the quantity x plus 15 minus x. And now to solve the square root equation, because we have one square root, the first step is to isolate the square root, which means we add x to both sides of the equation. Simplifying on the left, we have three plus x, or x plus three, equals on the right, negative x plus x is zero. On the right, we now just have the square root of the quantity x plus 15. Now that we've isolated the square root, we now square both sides of the equation to undo the square root. So we square the left side of the equation and we square the right side. On the left, there's no shortcut here. We need to write out two factors of x plus three and then determine the product. On the right side, squaring undoes the square root and the right side simplifies to x plus 15. And now we multiply the two binomials, which we can think of as repeated distribution. We distribute the x from the first binomial then distribute the three from the first binomial, which gives us four products. X times x is x squared. Then we have x times three, which is three x, giving us plus three x. Then we have three times x, which also gives us plus three x. And then finally we have three times three, which is nine, giving us plus nine equals x plus 15. Simplifying on the left, we have two like terms. Three x plus three x is six x, giving us x squared plus six x plus nine equals x plus 15. Because we have a quadratic equation, let's set the equation equal to zero and see if we can solve by factoring. To set the right side equal to zero, we subtract x on both sides and also subtract 15 on both sides. Simplifying, we have x squared, six x minus one x is five x, giving us plus five x and nine minus 15 is negative six, giving us minus six equals on the right, x minus x is zero, and so is 15 minus 15. And now if the trinomial on the left does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors, because the first term is x squared, which is equal to x times x. We have an x in the first positions of the two binomial factors. The second terms of the binomials will be the factors of negative six that add to positive five. Let's list the factors of negative six. We have negative three times positive two, negative two times positive three, negative one times positive six, as well as negative six times positive one. We are looking for the factors that have a sum of positive five, and notice that negative one plus six is equal to positive five, and therefore the two factors we need are negative one and positive six, which means one binomial factor is x minus one, and the other is x plus six. Now that we have the left side factored, this product is equal to zero when x minus one is equal to zero, or when x plus six is equal to zero. And now we solve these two equations. Here we add one to both sides, giving us x equals one. Here we subtract six on both sides, giving us x equals negative six. But whenever solving a radical equation, or in this case a square root equation, we do want to verify the solutions actually work by substituting the values back into the original equation. So let's finish by doing this. Sometimes we do have values that appear to be solutions, but don't actually work, and these are called extraneous solutions. So now we will check the possible solutions of x equals one, or x equals negative six. Let's first check x equals one. Substituting one for x gives us three equals the square root of the quantity one plus 15 minus one. One plus 15 is 16, giving us three equals the square root of 16 minus one. The square root of 16 is four because four squared equals 16, and four minus one is three, verifying x equals one is a solution. And now let's check x equals negative six. Performing substitution gives us three equals the square root 
of the quantity, negative six plus 15, and then minus negative six. Simplifying, negative six plus 15 is positive nine, giving us a square root of nine, and then minus negative six is equivalent to plus six. The square root of nine is equal to three because three squared equals nine. This gives us three equals three plus six. Well, three does not equal nine, which means x equals negative six is not a solution. When we get a value that appears to be a solution but isn't, this is called an extraneous solution. So there is only one solution to the equation. It is x equals one. This is why it's always important to check possible solutions when solving a radical equation. I hope you found this helpful.